Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's your boy D Mac, and this is Kill You With Truth about last night. This is where we look at things that happened in the wonderful world of Denver sports from the night before. And, and I talk with you about whatever you want with D Mac Mac at the end of it, and we just hang out and let you know what's going on. Now, last night, was the anti-sports NATO. We've had sports NATOs in the past where there's a lot going on. And uh, last night, there was nothing going on, at least with the Avalanche, Nuggets, and Rockies. All three teams were off, which is highly unusual. Okay. Happens. Every now and then it happens, right? So today we look at something super exciting in Denver sports just off the main path, and that's college hockey. The University of Denver college hockey program has been unbelievable over the years. Incredible. And last night was no different. Facing Boston University, the Terriers. It goes to overtime in the semifinal of the Frozen Four. And then this happens. Here come the Pioneers if they hurry. Throws, shot, score! It's over! Denver to the championship game! That's on ESPN, and this was from DU Hockey's... Congratulations. Wow. What a game by the Pioneers. So, so exciting. Um, Way to go. Way to go. So they will play for a national championship. Oh, my gosh. They take the breath away. They they will meet um, Boston College. So they'll play another Boston team. And uh, it's so exciting. Denver has, reading now, a chance to become the first school to win 10 NCAA men's hockey championships. But it's not going to be easy. They'll go to um, play Boston College, who's the number one overall seed, who beat Michigan 4 nothing in the other semifinal. In Minnesota, BC has been the number one country most of the season. They won their 15th straight game behind a two-goal 49-second blitz in the second period. So it's exciting, really exciting. But boy, will they have to earn it, take it on BC on Saturday night. So we'll, uh, you know, we, we have, it's interesting, on Saturday we have the Avalanche playing Winnipeg. So as long as that goes relatively the way hopefully we we think, we'll we'll do a little watch along for the Pioneers. We'll do five to go for the Pios. Um, and we did a watch along yesterday at part of Hangout. And so, yeah, why not? Why not? Why not celebrate the Pioneers, man? It's really exciting. It's a hell of a program. Um, I've been, you know, as a hockey dad, um, with my oldest son, been able to watch my son play multiple um, hockey games at Magnus Arena. Really cool because the DU youth program played. There's two rings down there, and so commonly they would get to play at Magnus, which was really really neat. DU is a very physical youth program, by the way. I was like, oh, DU, look out! Uh, but way to go, Pioneers! That is so awesome. Excited for them. We'll do uh, five to go on Saturday nights. Watch them hopefully win a national championship. Do the best they can. Not going to be easy, but way to earn it in overtime. And and the Pioneers more or less dominated the third period, too. They had three power play opportunities. Couldn't quite make it happen. And then they get the, uh, the game winner. So congratulations. 
really exciting way to go. In terms of about last night, when it comes to, um, well, we had the Masters going, which was crazy. Uh, they got a two-hour delay. It just feels like I can't believe how fast the year's going. It's not crazy that it's April and the Masters is going off. Um, but they had a two-hour delay because of weather. And then they, uh, let's see here. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. And now they're just trying to get going here uh, the best they can. In fact, they're already tea times and making up for things. So DeChambeau, seven under. Homa, six under. Scheffler, six under. So we got we got some action going on right now. Let me see if I can find it here. Mm -mm. We got to do a little scoreboard for... I'll catch up here in a second. Yeah, I got to do all sorts of stuff. You know, it'd be easier if I... Come on, man. Just give me the scoreboard, bro. Come on, bro. Uh... Okay, hang on. Mm -mm. All right, Tiger Tracker. All right, let's see here. Okay. After watching playing partner Jason Day knock his tee shot, on the par 3, 16 in the water. Tiger hits the ball safely on the green. Oh, so he's playing on 16. Tiger needs two putts for par. Okay. So he's got uh, 17 and 18 coming up. So we got Masters action happening right now. Let's see if they, they're actually airing it. Mm, whoa. All right, well, we'll catch up with that in a second. I'll catch up with that at the end. Um, but the Masters is happening right now. And uh, Tiger is at even par, so he's quite a few shots back. But certainly not out of it. Um, we'll see where that goes. Let's go about last night and look at hockey scores because that is what matters in terms of Standings for the Avalanche. The Sabres beat the Capitals 4-2. to two. The uh, Devils beat the Leafs 6-5. Senators over the Lightning 3-2. to two. 4 nothing Panthers over the Blue Jackets. Flyers beat the Rangers 4-1. to one. Penguins beat the Rangers 6-5. That's a crazy game in overtime. Islanders beat the Canadiens 3-2. to two. The Jets beat the Stars 3 nothing. Jeez. That is not what we wanted, sports fans. That is not what we wanted. Uh, Sharks beat the crack at three to one, and Kings beat the Flames four to one. All right. Um, that means Colorado is in third place right now in the Central. They lose the tiebreaker to uh, the the Jets right now. Jets have 104 points. So do the Avs, both with 79 games played. Well, that sets up a pretty massive showdown on Saturday, doesn't it? Tomorrow, and that's an afternoon game, 2 o'clock. That's huge. I mean, unless you don't care about home ice. Ah, uh, Dallas, what are you doing? So both the Avs and Jets have, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to do some math here, a game in hand to the Stars. The Stars have 109 points. Who do they got left? Hold on. You know, Dallas, that, that sucks. Not, I mean, you, you got shut out at home? Really? So they host, uh, they have two home games left. They host Seattle, who stinks. 
Haas, and then they uh, host St. Louis, who you never know. That's frustrating. I'm not going to lie that they would, you know, suck that hard against the Jets. That's pretty, pretty big win for the Jets right there. That's for sure. So the maximum amount of points Dallas can get if they win their last two games against St. Louis and St. Lu- um, uh, Seattle and St. Louis, then get uh, 113 points. Well, the Az can't do that. They got three games left. Most they can get is 110. And then you get, th- this is huge against Winnipeg. And both teams have three games left. So it's it's not as simple as just win on Saturday. You got to dial it in. If you care, if that matters. Oh man, what a battle. Total battle coming down the uh coming down the mountain. Huge game tomorrow then. And overall in the conference, the um the Avs are in in fourth place. Oh man. Tight though. Super tight between Colorado, Winnipeg, Vancouver. Edmonton not far behind. I mean, and they got, oh man, they got two games at hand. Ah, this this thing is crazy tight. Insanely tight. All right, well, it's an exciting finish once again. They had to push hard last year to win the Central. You know, that those losses against Columbus and Montreal just stick it in my craw right now. Two really, that just sucked losing those two games in particular. But the Avs will, that was a tough game last night or, you know, a meaningful game for Winnipeg. The, the Avs, um, they had a couple days off. And they do play back to back on Saturday and Sunday, but then they don't play again until Thursday, home against Edmonton. So it's not like I don't know. We'll see. I'm assuming we'll see Anna and Annette or uh, Georgiev and Annette tomorrow against Winnipeg, and then Anna and on Sunday against Vegas. We'll have five to goes for everything. We'll be at the game tomorrow to cover it for you. Down the wire. Didn't get any help last night. Got to do the best you can on your own, and we'll see what happens. Should be. It's going to be exciting for sure. We'll see where they finish. We'll see where they finish. Yeah, the Knights and... uh. St. Louis still is kind of there, man. They they got a they're not out of it yet. Let's go to the NBA about last night and see what's going on there. We'll get to uh D Max Mac and a Masters update here in a second. Um, you know, nothing for the the Nuggets last night after the most exciting home win. They got on a plane to go to Utah yesterday and they play tonight. Oh, I'm sorry, not not Utah, the San Antonio. Last night in the NBA, so they got San Antonio and Memphis left. The uh, Bulls beat the Pistons 127-105. Knicks over the Celtics 118-109. Look at that. Interesting. Jazz beat the Rockets 124-121. Warriors, who are rolling these days, beat Trailblazers 192. Pelicans beat the Kings 135-123. That's kind of interesting. Pelicans um, trying to do their best not playing that playing tournament. And that was so that's a big win for them last night for sure. As the Kings are, well, that's it. That does it. So the Kings will be in the playing tournament. Suns are a game behind the Pelicans. So those two teams battling it out, they have both have two games to go in their season. And we're kind of sli- the Warriors and the Lakers have the same record at 45 and 35. 
The Warriors are nine and one in their last ten. They're playing. They're playing good, obviously. And the Lakers are seven and three. Both teams playing really good at the end. And the Kings are have the same record as those three. So I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see how that shakes out. They're not going to be able to catch the Suns. And the Suns and the Pelicans are kind of battling it out for that spot. The Timberwolves have the Suns as their last game of the season. And the Nuggets are one game in front of the Timberwolves and the Thunder. I mean, you know, I know there are road games to wrap up the season. But Wembyama didn't play the last game. And I don't know if they'll shut if they shut him down. If he's not playing tonight, well, we got to keep our eyes on that one. If he's not playing tonight, man, you can't take it easy. But that is not going to be a big challenge. It shouldn't be a big challenge tonight for the Nuggets. And then uh, you wrap it up with the Grizzlies on um, on Sunday and kind of the same thing. We'll have five to goes for those games. We, we got gotcha. you. We'll have five to goes for all the road games. For the Pios, um, and probably we'll see where the Masters is at on Sunday. So we're gonna get you um, an opportunity to react and and um, watch along and have some fun. I love watching sports at the end of the day um, with y'all. It's a blast. All right, I am trying to let's see here. I'm trying to see if the old Masters what I can do here. Hang on. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see here. Going to record the Masters. Fubo, man. Just click a couple buttons. All right. So they're not they're not going on ESPN with the Masters till one o'clock. Let's see, Sports Center at the Masters. Uh, 8 a.m. Okay, so they're not they're not giving you live stuff right now. All right, well that's fine. Mm -mm. I just want the scoreboard, man. <laughs> Mm -mm. Yeah, they're finishing up play from yesterday. Golly, can you just give me the scoreboard? <laughs> Why is that so hard? Uh, I, I I may be just the, the biggest idiot in the world if I can't just get the... Uh... Tiger, 100, ba bum ba bum ba bum <laughs> no, I don't know. I have no idea why it's so difficult just to find the scoreboard for the tournament right now. You would think that would pop up like right away. Okay, I got it. Holy sh that was crazy. All right, so here we go. Um, scoreboard watching. Max Homa at six under through 17. So he's playing right now. Scheffler six under. Look at the guys who are playing because they didn't, they just didn't finish everything yesterday. Tiger is at even par through 17. Maybe I can see Tiger. That'd be fun if we could watch the final. Uh, oh, my God. They're killing me with this stuff. You're killing me. You're killing me. You know, it might be easier just to watch this on my phone, frankly. Oh, actually, hold on a second. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, here we go.
pretty cool. Yeah, we have never done this before. We've never done a watch along as part of uh, uh, this is unique. So we can watch Tiger finish up the uh, last couple holes. See where he's at. Yeah, that's cool. Kepka on the 17th. All right, so that's cool. Let's see if I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, perfect. Perfect. A watch along in the morning. Come on now. That is awesome. A master's watch along. I've never done this before. So I can even take some of your comments and uh B Mac Mac as we watch Tiger finish up his first round. Cool. You know, I, I tell you what, man, just figuring things out. Oh, hold on. I got a message. Uh, I'll only get some feedback, Mac, and um, we'll watch Tiger finish things up. You know, it's funny. You realize how slow golf is when you just, like, watch one guy play golf. <laughs> good morning, Brent. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, D-Mac. Have a great weekend. Go Spurs. Where am I? Hey there, Morning, Emac. Another Emac. Oh man, good to see you, pal. RJ, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Cracking art in the playoffs. Still can't believe we lost. Oh, I know. Oh my God. There's, it's not that they're just not in the playoffs. They're terrible. God, awful. I think this is, is this 17th Tiger? Oh, it's 18. It's 18. All right, so they're at um, they're actually at eighteen. Long day, twenty-three whole day for Tiger and his uh, threesome. So they're at eighteen. We're doing a watch along to finish up. This is very unique. Never done this before. Never done a watch along at seven o'clock in the morning. Good morning, Wesley. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you, Wesley. Paul. Good morning. I like everybody so friendly today. Last half full, maybe the Avs won't spend too much energy this year. Just getting the top seed to go further. Who knows? Yeah, that'd be nice. Masters are live from round one yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. So cool. Masters has its own app. They do. They have a great app. You're right about that. I'm just scrambling, but I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, we're just watch long for one hole for Tiger. That's all. Be back this afternoon. DMAC, it was great to meet you the other night. And Paul, RJ, totally agree. It was awesome to meet you. Uh, I love meeting, hey, meeting you folks in person is such a thrill, especially folks that are invited to play with you and what we do here. Got to give Michael G credit. He's consistent. Oh, uh, it, it wouldn't be the day without Michael Carrera. Are you kidding me? I prefer satisfaction that the crack is up this shit. All right, Tiger is third shot. He's in the sand on 18. So he's got to get a sand save here. He's even on his round, so he don't want to go plus. Boom. Get close. Stop. Stop. Ah. Oh, yeah, a lot of momentum on that ball. Please stop it. Ran it right at the hole. Almost knocked it in. Um, but it's 
scooted past the hole, he is going to have a long putt safe par. Look at that thing, man. It rolled. Oh, it just went past the left lip of the um, hole. Uh, if it, 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 one more inch to the right, and that thing bangs off the flag and goes down. So he is going to have the worst safe bar here. Are you live streaming NFL draft or doing a watch party? Well, I'm, I'm almost positive um, we'll be doing, doing something at Alpha. And I think I, it's not been official, but I was told where we're going to do it from. And um, so we'll go from there. And I don't know if we can live stream that. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, we'll let you know. But I know that's being worked on right now. And, uh, and we show it. Tiger's getting his age. His early tea time isn't helping. He's struggling to stay even. Yeah, I got to go because there's that par five on, on um, 15. And they stopped, so did he? Yeah, I'll have to go back and look at his card. Max, on the other hand, is killing it, yeah. Jason Day plus three. He's in Tiger. So he shoots 75, almost 600. He's in the same group as Tiger. So he's killing Tiger. These guys are so good, though. It's funny to say, oh, he's playing poorly. But this is a tough putt, though, for Tiger. I got to admit, I just love watching it, though. And yesterday, I was actually kind of sad when we stopped our um, hangout live. They just stopped playing it. But to be able to do this right now is so freaking cool. I can't even tell you. All right, Tiger. Tough putt on 18. Say par. Go even for the first round. Let's see what you can do. 15-footer, not easy. And he missed it to the right. Finishes the uh, first round plus one. Now that's disappointing. Put some eight shots behind the leader after the first um, first round. Then you gotta just kind of chill out and um, get back after it. Long day. All right, well, that'll uh, kind of wrap it up there for <clears throat> about last night. About last night turned into a little bit about uh, what's happening this morning. All right, I'll give you back to Oma because if, if this is a birdie putt, this is to, oh, this is par. Okay. Well, he has a putt pretty similar to Tiger, maybe about two feet shorter. So this is, say, one shot behind. And he misses it. He misses it the same way Tiger missed it. He's got a little work on that one, too. Let's see what he's going to do. Yeah, he's, I think he's outside of Tiger. Well, he misses it the same spot as Tiger. And he's got like a... Ah, it's a three-footer. A bogey. So he, um, he'll drop back to 500 as long as So Homa bogeys 18 as this Tiger, five under, two shots behind uh, Shembo. Tiger has a short tap in to go, uh, there you go, plus one. Uh, he pars, five eyes on the back. Bogey 14, he bogeyed 18. So he came out at 
bogey first hole that he played today. And then he didn't bogey the par five, but he parred it, and that's given shots away too. So he gave shots away on um, 13, 14, and 18. So kind of a rough back there. See what happens. All right, that'll wrap it up for us. That was fun, though. Fun for me, at least. Watch the Masters review, and uh, we'll have football talk, NFL talk with. Coming up at 9 a.m. Appreciate you watching. Full day of sports for you. Uh, and we will have, I'll try it today, because I'll be able to do it. Bottom of the eighth, for the first time, a watch along with the Rockies. They play the Blue this year at 5 o'clock. So, I don't know how that's going to go. I haven't done it before, but we'll be bottom of the eighth. And then we'll um, hit you with uh, five to go with the Nuggets. And then tomorrow we're at the Avs. Uh, watch along with the Bios. Sunday, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see with baseball. I'll tell you this. If I'm around the house, I may not do anything extraordinary. <laughs> but if I'm around the house, then, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, love you guys. Thank you for that.